everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, the Natalie Pepito channel. Here's where you'll find a little bit more political commentary and reaction videos if YouTube allows me to keep them up. My last video got yanked, so I had to put it on Rumble. Anyway, I will try and edit myself to make sure that this video does not get taken down on YouTube. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Glenn Wright's uh, interview on KPCW the other day. Glenn Wright is a member of the Summit County Council, and it is his last year in office, and he is commenting on what's going on in Park City right now. So I'm going to be, it's an audio video, so I'll have a picture of him right here as he is speaking on the radio on KPCW. KPCW is Park City's local radio station. Anyway, it's a blind reaction. I have not heard this interview, so I will be reacting to what Glenn Wright says. Here we go. Let's get started. Okay. Uh, let's jump to COVID. Of course, the COVID case is breaking records every day, it seems. Um, the projected peak still a few weeks away. How do you think Summit County's pandemic fighting efforts are going? Well, we've done what we can do as a county. Uh, you know, state government has limited some of our abilities on that. I think we've gone as far as we can with the 45-day mask uh, mandate. Um, at the 45 days mask mandate. What is that going to do? It's obvious that it doesn't work. <laughs> Everyone's getting it anyway. But whatever, let's continue. Uh, at this point, uh, we really have to ask for community cooperation in, uh, in several areas. Um, the vaccination rates in the county are actually fairly good. They're actually okay. If the V rates are so good, why do we need the masks? Why? Aren't they supposed to be 100% safe and effective? Apparently not. Let's continue. Wasn't the whole point of getting the ouchie was to not have to wear those muzzles anymore? Wasn't that the point? And now you're back to it. This girl, tinfoil hat girl, has been saying this for two years. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, that's actually very good. They're one of, one of the best in the country. Uh, unfortunately, when, you know... We have one of the best V-rates in the country. But yet we're under a mandate order right now. If a year ago we had contemplated that we got to 80% uh, uh, vaccination rate, we would think we had uh, herd immunity in the county. But Omicron has, has thrown that off... And with, with the virility of measles, we probably need to get up closer to 95%. So that's still, there's still some holdouts in the county that aren't, uh, that aren't vaccinated. And we've got to do a better job of communicating with those folks to see if we can get them on board. How are you going to communicate to us? It's everywhere. Everywhere you turn, there's propaganda all over. And here's the thing. I wouldn't really care if it's being advertised everywhere. If. We weren't being censored on the other side of the narrative to make a full, a fully informed choice. In order to make a wise decision whether or not to get the ouchie, then you need to have both sides so you can make an informed decision, don't you think? Common sense would say that. Okay, Glenn, what are you gonna do? What's your strategy, dude? Remember, I'm blind reacting. I have no idea what he's going to say. Let's see if we can get him on board. Uh, the biggest issue, though, I think, is, and the reason why our rate is so high, is over 50% of our workforce are inbound commuters from counties that don't have the same type of uh, vaccination rates that we have. We're up around 80%. Uh, their surrounding counties are in the 55 to 65% range. And if you look at a age differential where people are vaccinated uh the, the older folks like you and i leslie the, the over 50 crowd is pretty well vaccinated uh, it gets less and less as you get younger as you should be in my opinion i think it's a great idea you know if that's your choice you're wise you're old well i'm 50 
<laughs> who am I? I shouldn't be talking, should I? <laughs> but if you are unhealthy, un lived an unhealthy lifestyle, and you feel like it's the best choice for you to get the ouchie, more power to you. Like, honestly, I support it if that's your decision. You've lived long enough on this earth to make wise decisions, in my opinion. And maybe you looked at the other side and maybe you haven't. But if you're over 50 and you decide to do that, who am I to tell you what to do? So, Glenn, you have a point. And here's another thing. I'm going to tell you right now, to any of my friends who are, one, are on one side of the fence or the other, I'm not a group thinker. I'm a free thinker. I have my own opinions. And I don't care what you say on this side, and I don't care what you say on that side. I'm on my own side. In my, That's just how I am. So if you don't like it, sorry. I get younger and younger, and that's primarily where our workforce is. So I'm going to make it a semi-educated guess that our inbound workforce is probably less than 50% vaccinated. How, how? He's guessing. Okay, Glenn. Those aren't facts. It's a guess. This guy. Ugh. Gotta hand it to him. He's one tough nut to crack. I've seen him in action. All right. Enough commentary. Let's continue. How, how do we address that? Now, the, the state has prohibited employers from uh, taking sanctions on, on employees who are not vaccinated. But I think it's still possible for employers to put in vaccine mandates without any stick behind it. What is he talking about? There's a freaking law. It's called Senate Bill 2004. That is a law passed. It is against employers mandating vaccines to employees. So what the hell are you talking about, Glenn? What are you trying to tell employees? Here's the thing. This guy is not running for county seat anymore. This is his last year. Like, he's done after this year. He's retiring. And now he is trying to pressure small businesses to be enforcers. What happens if they go and try and pull this crap when there's a law in place? And they mess with the wrong employee, and now that employee sues that small businesses and wins because they tried to listen to this freaking asshat. So he's just spewing bullshit and putting it on the small business to become a government enforcer. And if they mess with the wrong employee and they sue them, they've got grounds to win. Do you see? Okay, wake up, people. Do you see? Let's continue. And talking to Mike Gore at Vail, uh, they, they've done that. And he tells me that they're over 90% vaccinated amongst their, their crew, even with the fact that they can't discipline people. You know why? Because they enacted that policy before the bill was signed into law. The bill that was signed into law, Senate Bill 2004, was signed into law by Governor Cox on November the 16th. They were hiring well before that. So the reason, Glenn that they are 90% vaccinated employees is because they threatened their jobs. And these people were threatened with their job before November 16th to get the ouchie. So let's not get it twisted, Glenn. Tell the truth, Glenn. Let's continue. I've disciplined people or, or released them for not being vaccinated. So that's, that's something I think our, our businesses can do here. Oh, uh, he still had a really difficult time, though, over the holidays. Oh, yeah. A lot of people out sick. Be even vaccinated, they mean they still... Yep. No shit, Sherlock! Why are you pushing the ouchie when everyone's getting it anyway? Oh, my God. You know what? <laughs> I can't even. It doesn't make sense. It is a clown world that we're living in. <laughs> oh, but maybe if I... It's just milder symptoms. Okay, says who? Says the news? Let's keep going. This is fun. Well, this may still. Yep, absolutely. I, I, I think the, the benefit, though, of being vaccinated is people are coming back sooner. Okay. So hopefully that will, you know, uh, they'll, they'll get their employees back, back sooner. Uh -huh. We've seen that in the county also, not in terms of return to service, but I think, you know, we certainly have people out sick, uh, 
but I think our rates are lower than the count. In is this fact or is it opinion? It's opinion. Where are the studies, Glenn? Tell me. God, this guy is too much. I can't even. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Of count in the county workforce in general. So I think that's very important. I think the other thing that uh, our commercial businesses can do is they need to think about voluntarily uh, asking for vaccinations uh, for entry to uh, businesses like theaters, bars, restaurants. Are you on crack? This guy, he's a freaking psychopath. Oh my gosh. And he's a hypocrite. <laughs> he at the Dakota Pacific uh, County Council meeting where there was like hundreds and hundreds of people there, he was unmasked. Unmasked. Of course, there wasn't a mandate in place, but they had specifically asked for everyone to wear a mask since we were going to be in such close quarters, correct? That guy, this guy right here, he wasn't wearing a mask. And I took note of that and I was like, oh, hmm. Don't practice what you preach, do ya? And now he's asking businesses to voluntarily ask for a vaccine card? Get the fuck out of here. Oh my God, this guy is too much. Is he a megalomaniac? What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Let's continue. Others, restaurants. Uh, we can't mandate that. The state has prohibited us from mandating that. No but that's something we, we can do uh, as a community. Uh, because, you know, the other part of the, you know, the, 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 I think the big part of the, the Omicron surge in the county was inbound tourists uh, coming from states that have much lower vaccination rates than, yeah. than we do. So um, how aggressive should the... He thinks, I think this, I think that. No, everyone's getting it. It's a global thing. Everyone is getting the moronic variant right now. And guess what? Everyone's okay. There are your people that, like in normal times and in since the beginning of time, that have died of a simple cold that turned into something else. But now when you name it and you throw it out there everywhere you see, of course it's going to freak people out. But if you just stop doing this and start just kind of looking around you and just see what's going on here, you'll see the truth. I'll probably have to put this on Rumble. Shit. How aggressive should the county be in enforcing that, the mask mandate? Uh, we're pretty much doing it on a complaint basis yeah. only. So if someone comes and says, this, this particular company is not doing a good job, we're going to go out and visit them. Uh, but we're, we, we, don't, we don't have deputies out in uh, the grocery stores tapping people on shoulders. And... Because they won't. That's why. Because it's moronic and it's stupid, and it's unconstitutional, and it's dumb, and it's overreach of power. And of course, that's why they're not doing it. Don't get it twisted. People stop being afraid and stop listening to these bureaucrats. I'm not gonna listen to him. Does he drink? Does he take prescription drugs? I don't know, but I know how I live, and I'm not gonna listen to that when he is strictly on the radical left narrative path. He refuses to see any other way. And I know this for a fact because he called my friends hooligans at a council meeting, but never said a word to the crazy person that was screaming at m one of my friends at a council meeting. He let him scream at him. And when my friend tried to rebut, he called him a, a hooligan and told him to shut up. So. He's on one side. This guy is not unbiased at all. Let's continue. Of my shoulders, and we're not planning on doing that. And what's the appropriate punishment then for those who just refuse to wear a mask? Uh, I've been told it's a, a citation, yeah. like a something similar to a speeding ticket. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And then what about at schools? I mean, the county says that it's up to the schools to enforce the mandate and their schools are saying they're doing the best they can, but we still get lots of reports of students and teachers not wearing masks. Uh, you know how they're getting these reports? The health director has been talking to KPCW and feeding them all the intel. 
and the school board uh, superintendent, Joe Gildea, has been speaking with KPCW, giving them all the intel. So that's how they know the reports of what's going on. And I know this for a fact because I did a grammar request that took... I submitted it in November and I literally got it back this past Friday and I went through all the emails. So I know, let's continue. So let's continue. But KPCW knows because Phil Bondurant has been speaking to KPCW but ignoring everybody else's emails, right? Not Doesn't even acknowledge anyone's emails, but he'll speak to the press. Let that sink in. Of asks. Uh, we do indeed, and uh, as we get those uh, reports into the the county, um, you know, we have uh, sent our deputy uh, health uh, director out to schools in the past, and I expect we will again in the future. Yep. Back uh, just a day or so ago, the New York Times reporting that Summit County in the top five for COVID per capita. Yep. So, should we continue to encourage tourism? Oh my gosh. First of all, the New York Times is a freaking trash rag. They suck. They're full of shit. So, okay, New York Times and should we What are they what is what are they trying to do? Are they trying to ruin the economy in Park City? Yeah, tourism is super annoying. Yes it is, but you know what? For small businesses and for people to make a living here, you need tourism here. They are that shit crazy, I'm telling you. I keep telling you this. I've been telling you this. I've lost friends over this. Well, that's where I was coming from in terms of getting people to require vaccinations. Why? And if it doesn't we, work. If, we, they if don't one work. of our businesses started doing that and the word got out, well, you're not going to have a, a complete vacation experience here in the county if you're not vaccinated. I think that would help. This guy is a tyrant. What is he thinking? Like, what is wrong with him? <laughs> Does he think we live in Australia or Canada? Because you got to see what's going on over there. Is that what he wants our country to be like? He is insane. He's a megalomaniac. What is wrong with him? Insane. And he's not running. Thank you, baby Jesus. I think that would help. And I think from a, a business standpoint, we have to think about our reputation as providing a good uh, tourist experience for people. Uh, I'm not Contradictory. Okay, provide a good tourist experience for people, but shun them if they're not vaccinated for a virus that the vaccine doesn't even work. Hmm. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, perfect sense. Good job, Glenn. Let's keep going. Uh, I'm not sure anybody thought that the, the, the thousands and thousands of tourists we had here during Christmas had a, a, a top-notch experience. Uh, and if we, we have periods of time like that because of COVID, uh, because of lack of employees, um, that's going to affect our, our business in the future. Lack of employees is because they don't want to freaking work for a tyrannical company like Vail. Who the fuck wants to work for Vail when they're requiring all these ridiculous things and you can't just go to work and they're acting like the Gestapo? I mean, I wouldn't want to work for them. Ew. No. There's a lack of employment because people don't want to work in these conditions anymore. They're freaking sick of it. It's been two years. You can blame the Rona all you want. And if you're an employee... And you can call out sick over a cold? Shit, I would. If they're treating you like crap, I would. Why not? They're treating you like shit anyway. So why on earth would you be loyal to a company like that? Just saying. Don't blame it on people like going to the hospital. That's bullshit. They got a cold, they're going to call out because there's nothing that that company can do. If that company gave a crap about their employees and let them just go to work and just, just go to work like a normal person, not throw pressure on them and not constantly berate them for not believing a certain way, there would be a lot more employees, I can tell you that right now. They're hiring everywhere. Ask yourself why. It is because of the Rona, but not what they're trying to push. 
it's a different reason because people have had it. But the mainstream media and social media and our own council members are trying to push a different agenda that gets pushed out and people like me get censored. Let's continue. Not for business in the future. Okay, let's move on. Uh, council members met with state representatives earlier this week. Um, any information that, that did, did you want, uh, what information I said do you want them to get from that meeting? I think uh, one of the more important uh, statements that we gave them came from Dave Thomas, and that is uh, to look out very closely for uh, stealth, uh, you know, stealth legislation uh, that will affect annexations like hideout uh, and situations like that. All right. That was the end of the COVID part. And... Um... That's my, this is, I think this is my first actual reaction video to an audio clip. I'm working on doing them with a video clip um, soon, but since this was only audio, there's just a picture of Glenn right here. All right, so I gave him a hard time, definitely, because he's a hard nut to crack. But you know what? You gotta hand it to him because he believes what he believes, he owns it, and you know what you're gonna get with him. So I, as a person that is like that, but in a different point of view, you gotta respect that, at least I do. I don't know. I like people that are straight up in your face even though I hate what they're saying. He owns it. Gotta respect it, Glenn. Yeah, I'm hard on you, but you deserve it. <laughs> And that will end this video. If you want more videos like this, comment down below. If this is on Rumble, <laughs> comment down below. And I will definitely do more videos like this. I think they're fun. And I wanna get to do a video clip. So if you guys have any video clips to send me, send them text message, DM, PM, any kind of way, email. However you want to send me some clips that I, that I can react to, I'll be happy to do it. This is Natalie Pepito, and this is the Natalie Pepito channel. Or if it's on Rumble, I believe it's the Miss Nat channel. Anyway, happy Sunday fun day. See you later.